In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and setup of your Epson Perfection V39 scanner. You can also remove this seal. So here we also have this stand. So it just makes it like you can keep it like this. Whenever you want to use it, just move it like this and start using it. Go to your Windows laptop. Now type in v39 so you will see here epson perfection v39 we can see our scanner now you have two packages if you want you can download the scanner drivers or you can download the drivers and the utility combo package so click on the download open file Epson scan setup click next now you have to accept the terms and conditions and click next click finish once you finish it close this box and you should be able to see on the screen Epson scan So the one end goes to your laptop and other end goes to the scanner. At the back of the scanner you have to plug it in. So open this lid from here. I'm going to scan this page so I'll place it here. Now go to your Epson scan app. Click on the customize. Now click on the file save settings. Now you can select where do you want to save it. For example, I want it on the desktop. And what kind of format you want, you can change from here. Like we need a PDF. And click OK. And then click OK again. Now click on the scan button. So it has transferred the scan it says the PDF if you open it you should be able to see it as a PDF so this way we can do the unboxing and complete setup of this scanner now the next thing is to increase the DPI and if you want to use it for a home use or office use it has a different sections so scroll down this top bar and you will see option home mode office mode and professional mode if you go to the home mode you will see it goes to the other side of the screen and here you have option if you want photographs to scan if you want magazines newspaper so there are lots of options we can select from here it also has a color grayscale black and white option now for example it says preview if you if i click on the preview it will start scanning and it will display on the main screen so I think this is the best setting we can use for the scanning and it displays on the main screen. So this is the complete installation and this way we can use this scanner with our Windows laptop. Thanks for watching.